Hi, this is Eastern Block. I'm um, going to present to you my first modern mock of the Imperial TIE Fighter. Um, I bought this set uh, soon after the Han Solo movie was out. Um, I'll, I, though I do like this TIE Fighter, um, I think it's come a long way since uh, some of the older ones, which uh, were very rough looking. Um, I was a little disappointed at the fact that the Lego did not produce or release a heavy TIE fighter or TIE brute. And so what I essentially did was I took this base model, you know, set number 75211, added a few pieces to come up with my version of a heavy TIE fighter. Now I know there's a few out there already and there are a lot of, and that's what uh, to be honest with you that's what actually inspired me to do the same. So just a couple things I wanted to uh, try and get across with my version is um, the emphasizing of the heavy part of the heavy TIE fighter. Um, if you look at the original model, um, it definitely captures the iconic uh, TIE fighter in universe and stuff. So, um, but what I wanted to do was try to uh, make the, my model look a little more monolithic, a little more heavy, if you will. And so what I ended up doing was, if you could see some of these dark bluish gray pieces here uh, that are exposed, I wanted to try and minimize that as much as possible to give uh, the, my model a little more of a monolithic or heavier feel. And I'm hoping that uh, I've accomplished that. So let's go into my model. Let's point some of these things out. Um, notice that some of the dark bluish gray were replaced with light bluish gray here and on the opposite side. Added some curved corner pieces to kind of uh, hide some of this dark gray exposure. Um, added uh, some corner pieces uh, for these corner tile, round corner tile pieces here and there. And again, um, you know, some of the older models, so older TIE fighters look very rough and did not capture kind of that spherical cockpit uh, that you see in the universe. And so uh, what LEGO did with the Imperial TIE fighter was a vast improvement. Uh, I wanted it to take a step further with my heavy TIE fighter by uh, eliminating or reducing the amount of that dark bluish gray um, to sort of give it more of this monolithic look and uh, a heavier feel, if you will. So continuing on, um, I added a couple more cheese slopes on the arms here um, uh, to kind of, again, um, create the round effect without being literally round. Uh, moved, moved and relocated uh, some of these gray plates or ingots uh, here to cover up and, uh, some of that dark gray. Um, and now for the part that makes the heavy TIE fighter a heavy TIE fighter, we go to the cannon. Um, again, uh, you know, this cannon in universe is kind of more spherical and round, but uh, t to make it look like that this is part, this I wanted to make this cannon piece look like it was part of the original set out of box by, you know, um, you know, keeping and maintaining some of that Lego aesthetic uh, that you see here or around the cockpit here. You notice that this isn't, uh, all these gray, uh, light bluish gray pieces that form sort of the round cockpit uh, you know, aren't isn't perfectly smooth, uh, and uh, therefore I uh, wanted to kind of mirror some of that uh, this that concept over to the heavy cannon. Uh, we want to suggest the roundness without being literally round. Uh, a couple other things here. So uh, I know in some of the things I read that uh, they they mentioned that the cannons uh, were able to pivot. So I did that at least with the top one. Whoops. I, Came out fairly easy. There you go. Okay. So watch out for some of these things. All right. Okay. So anyway, the uh, cannons do uh, pivot, as uh, as I mentioned here. I've only uh, for now at this point I've only enabled the top one to pivot. Uh, and I'll show you why in a second here. Um, but uh, before I do, I want to go go to the back of the uh, uh, Tie Fighter. The original uh, TIE fighter out of box um, had a bit a, a two by two round black piece here. I eliminated that 
put uh, and just simply capped it with a one by one round tile there. I took this same feature and applied it here so that again as you're holding it up at certain angles and stuff you get you, you do get uh, sort of the round uh, feature and aspect of it but uh, but when you get to the top where it isn't, isn't practical to have that same dish piece up on top you still sort of get that suggestion of a round spherical cannon uh, mount without um, it being too literally round. The bottom, let's flip this over here. So here again, oops, here again you have the uh, that round plate. I introduced a, a two by two uh, curved piece here uh, to again suggest a round. I wanted to maintain uh, the sort of this tubular um, uh, tubular uh, form that you, I saw in a few photos uh, of the, the, uh, the cannon mount and uh, use some of these angled uh, or two by two angled uh, plates uh, with these uh, corners cut off to again suggest round without being literally round. Um, so anyways I'm hoping you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and mock of uh, looking forward to uh, hearing from all of you out there uh, regarding my any comments you might have uh, or if any if nothing else I hope this inspires you to do your first mock as I have <laughs>